What is surprising to some people though is what happens if I call this function with just one argument. Now you notice I've declared the say hello function with two arguments. If I just call that with, uh, if I call it with two arguments, the right argument, the right value goes to the right argument, right? So Kashik is gonna go to the first argument and afternoon is gonna go to the second argument. But what happens if I do something like this? Can you guess? Typically in other languages which are strict about these kind of things, this would actually result in a compilation error, right? The C compiler or the Java compiler would say, there is no function called say hello, which accepts just one argument. I just see a function with call say hello, which accepts two arguments. And since you're calling a function with just one argument, it cannot be that function. So it doesn't call it, it gives a compiler error right away. But that does not happen in JavaScript. In JavaScript, if you call a function, which you've declared as uh, X number of arguments, but you don't send all those X number of arguments, let's say you send something less, the function still gets called. But now the question is, if the function does get called, what is gonna be the value of the second argument, which I'm not supplying? There is an argument called time of day, and I'm not sending that argument. What is going to be the value? The value, it turns out, is gonna be undefined. Again, JavaScript is using undefined as a way to guess what the value would be rather than give an error. We've seen this happen in a lot of other scenarios and the same thing happens even here as well. JavaScript doesn't know what to do. There is no value there. So it just assigns undefined and then goes ahead with the execution. So if I execute this, you see it says, hello Kashik, it got the first value, but time of day is undefined because I did not send this, all right? Uh, Okay, now what if I add extra parameters? We've looked at you know ways in which you can send parameters to the same function, but not as many parameters as was expected and JavaScript just assigns undefined to those values. But now what if I add more stuff, right? So let's say I add uh, evening as the second argument, which is gonna correspond to time of day. But now what if I add one more? Let's say I add 42 as a third argument, and the function is not even expecting the third argument. Can you guess what happens if I execute this? It's very likely that you're gonna guess this right. If I reload and run, nothing happens. 42 is essentially ignored. So again, JavaScript is flexible when it comes to variables, you know, arguments matching based on count or function executions. If the number of arguments you send to a function is less than what it expects, the remaining arguments are gonna be assigned undefined values. And if the number of arguments that you're sending to the function is more than what the function expects, the extra arguments are just ignored, okay? So JavaScript is super flexible when it comes to this. It doesn't complain, it just assumes certain things based on these two rules and then it proceeds with the execution. This also has another implication, which is that overloaded functions are not possible in JavaScript. If you're not familiar with the concept of overloaded functions, it is that you can have multiple functions, and this is in some other languages like Java or C++. You can have multiple functions with the same name, but with different number of arguments, okay? So you can have, let's say, an add function, which takes two arguments. You can have another function called add, the same name, but which takes three arguments. Now, if you call add with two arguments, the function that accepts two arguments is run. And if you call add with three arguments, the function that accepts three arguments is run. So the compiler matches the arguments count if there are multiple functions declared with different argument counts. This is not possible in JavaScript, obviously, because there is there can be just one function for the given name. Depending on the function, you know, there is no way in which JavaScript can have uh, you know, look at the argument count and decide which function to execute. No matter what the argument count is, it's always gonna be the same function and it's gonna make assumptions on your behalf.